So this is a scene that happens when the drone pilots have reached a point where they're ready to fire the missile and suddenly an extra complication arises. This young, innocent girl walks into the, into the, into the kill zone, frankly, and suddenly everything changes. So dramatically, it's a real twist. And that's where you see these pauses from the actors and pushing into tighter close-ups on the actors where so much is communicated non-verbally. We feel the tension. As a filmmaker, you want the room to feel the tension so you can see nobody's been speaking for a while as we just absorb this new information. Then a decision is going to have to be made as to what to do. These high angles from the drone were really interesting. I had a 280-foot crane, which was high enough for when we looked straight down to feel as if it was much, much higher. If you tilt up from that, it, it, it gives it away, but looking straight down, we're okay. The rest of those drone shots we shot with helicopters. I would fire if I see the ACVIs moving or when this girl's out of the frag radius, but I want to give her a chance to get out of the Aaron way. Paul's character here, who's been ready to fire, is suddenly obviously feeling tremendous stress as the person actually has to pull that trigger. Um, and so he's, he's, he's challenging a superior officer. What's interesting about that is that um, it, it, it's actually allowed for a, a lieutenant, especially a pilot of a drone, to actually challenge a superior officer if for any reason they think that the order they're being given is illegal. This is important. People think that soldiers have to follow all orders, but that's not entirely true. It's not true at all, in fact. In fact, if you follow an order that's illegal, you could be charged with a war crime. You have clearance. There is a lot more at stake than you see here in this image. Ma'am, I need you to run the collateral damage estimate again with this girl up front. The situation has not changed, Lieutenant. You are cleared to engage. I love how the legalities and politics of it kind of escalates the tension as well. Yes, well, that's one of the things I really liked about Guy Hibbert's script was the fact that the, he looks at this um, drone operation from multiple points of view. And, and every point of view is true to the particular person in that position. So if you're the drone pilot, you're experiencing the operation with a certain emotional um, from a certain emotional position. If you're the politician who's the foreign secretary who might be asked to go onto the BBC and explain why an innocent life was lost, you have a whole different way of seeing the problem. For example, from Helen Mirren, who someone's been tracking these terrorists, doesn't ever have to answer to the publish, public and just wants them off her list. So I think what's great about the film, and I hope audiences get from this, is they get to see this operation from multiple points of view and then they get to decide what they think they would or would not do. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much for having me. It's been great. We have this one opportunity. Let's not lose it. Ma'am, uh, she's selling bread. Jesus. Those men are about to disperse. Engage now. Ma'am, I understand we have clearance. I will fire if I see the ACVIs moving or when this girl's out of the frag radius. But... We have a mission for you. A major weapons test is imminent. We need to know what it is and how to destroy it. Is that clear? Yes, sir.